What's up, everybody? Welcome to the new season of Action En Route. Now, last episode, we took a break and took a good look at the world of yoga. But let's get back for this episode. Let's get back to your favorite dose of adrenaline. That's right. So please, stick around, stay tuned, and gear up. Let's go take a good look at kickboxing. All right, guys. Knowing that kickboxing is a hybrid of different kind of martial arts, like karate, Muay Thai, and even Western traditional boxing. It might sound a little intimidating to you because knowing that kickboxing is a well-known lethal martial art. So kids, please don't try this at home. If you're gonna do something like this, please be in a safe environment and controlled at that. Of course, under the supervision of experts. So join me as we take a good look at the world of kickboxing right here on Action On Group. Alright guys, we're here at City Gym, the gym that never sleeps, the gym that puts you first. And here we have our experts, we have Dennis, we have of course Miss Anne, and our no stranger, uh, we have Jackie here. Uh, hello guys, how are you? Hi, good day. Uh, please tell us more about kickboxing. How did the big boom come here in, in, in Cebu and how did it really flourish here in Cebu? Well actually kickboxing I um, started sometimes in the 70s right. and um, the martial artists became a little bit frustrated about the rigidity of okay. the, the various art forms and so they decided to come up with something more fluid and so they came up with cardio kickboxing and um, it came here actually in the Philippines around the, last, the late 70s okay. but really boomed when when Billy Banks came during the 90s. Oh, right. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was into Celebrity Tyler, artist. Tyler. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Since this program is designed for everybody, great. To give an option, either to do the high intensity or low intensity. All right, when you mean by high intensity or low intensity, does that mean like in terms of how much uh, energy is there? Uh, yes, definitely. When you say high intensity workout, then it means there's greater demand for the heart. Okay. And so high intensity workout can require jumping, sprinting, right. and um, so just basically more vigorous movements. Right, okay. And, and cardio kickboxing. This is for high intensity. This would be high intensity, okay. like the kicks are higher, the, the sprints are longer, and so. Does a session normally, like how long does a session normally take? It's, it's going to be like. Well, normally it takes for about an hour. Oh, and wow. It okay. should be a very um, intense. intense workout. It's pretty much all and like. That yeah. works an enormous amount of calories, that works your entire body, your arms and legs, it's, and especially more your heart. Right, exactly. So yeah. like, not only would you burn more energy, you actually burn the calories while you're doing you it. You spend a lot, when you expend a lot of energy right. before you burn a lot of calories. Ah, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, I'm kind of curious about this one too. Is, is this kind of workout like more beneficial to men? Is it more beneficial for women? Everybody can do it. Right, exactly. Yes. In fact, um, a lot of men might even want to you know, join my class because of this one. Because right. It's more on like, you know, functioning. Right. It's more to dancing, dancing. But right, okay. Yeah, you don't really expect a man. You don't really see a cardio kickboxing session as a dancing session. Right, yeah. it's, it's, so, it's, it's not rocket science. It's literally yeah. like you, you're yeah. going to be doing the entire <laughs> mindset of literally, you know, going yeah, out. Because kickboxing, if you, if you think about it, you look away from the workout, it is a martial art. Yeah. Look at it. But yeah. then here in City Gym, like I said, it is a workout, so we have to Right. Really so the heart rate is, is elevated at a certain yeah. level because the music will have to have about 139 to 160 beats per minute. Wow, yeah. that BPM yeah. tree. Yeah. Out there. Yes. <laughs> and so this exercise is also good for reducing stress. And oh yeah, of course. Like right. Yeah, if you just if you there's so up. much there's so much um, reach in you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So so I guess this I, I guess where it comes into play here with the word stress and then with 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 kickboxing, if you read with the word stress, I guess it's safe it's safe to say that if you really love doing cardiovascular activities, an hour can feel like five minutes. And oh, yeah. I mentioned like an hour. If you um, enjoy what you're doing, then yeah. you don't feel like you're so 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 Probably when you say an hour, like an hour, <laughs> enough, really? Yeah, it's a great way to spice up your endorphins, so you okay. feel good hormones. So after a cardio yes. kickbox, intense or no, not intense, after a good cardio kickbox session. session. Yeah. After a good cardio kickbox session, you feel very good. Are there any kind of things that you need to bring, like particular gear, or do you have to like wear special, uh, specific clothing or anything for this? Is there any, anything you, you can recommend? Or, 
and you're up. Right, okay. Or you take the... Right, because I think, like, because I see the bags here, so I'm, seeing, I'm assuming later on, with the, after this interview, we'll be doing a quick demonstration right. of what the box is really about here in Egypt. We're going to be doing, uh, of course, with, with gloves. Sure. Right, so okay. You need to protect your Okay. And your knuckles as well. Right, okay. And just wear comfortable clothing. Will there be like braces or anything? Or? No. Just no braces. No. Right, okay. No accessories. Um, no okay, accessories. Cool. No accessories at all, that's right. I think that's, I think that's safe because if you wear a like, watch, next thing you know, it's like, oh, we're going to You just have to wear something comfortable. Yeah, comfortable, and um, you have to remember you'll be sticking a lot, so you don't want um, some areas exposed, so you want to make sure that it's. Uh, oh, hello. It's okay. Snuggly. Where, where are you snuggly clothes? <laughs> It, it's a I, guess I'm out of, I guess I'm out of the equation when it comes to the demonstration. Snug fitting clothes. Right, okay. Clothes that breathe. Right, okay. Make you comfortable. You need to put on, um, well, if you'd be using bags, then definitely you'll need to wear wraps. Wraps, right, okay. To protect your wrists and your knuckles. Also, sometimes you can wear also gloves. Yes, you can. Oh, okay. If, if it's not if it's not durable enough for you, with it, if it's that yeah. high intensity, yeah. you can wear at least like these gloves. Yeah. Right. Okay. To cushion, to cushion the blow. There you go. Right. Okay. And then okay. you wear clothing that allows your skin to breathe, okay. and you have to remember that you're kicking a lot. So, so at least wearing right. something that's comfortable for you, but it actually it fits for the for right. The right. So it's yeah. not fitting bottom. Just to make sure that you know you don't expose. Yeah, so a bra and a thong, out of the question, all right, okay. Uh, so in, in terms of like safety gear, that, that's pretty much about it. Uh, one, one, one last question, if, if there is one particular kind of workout that you would recommend for anybody, I'm sure we will be having a quick demonstration, or we should be more straight at it? Yes. All right, sure. let's go. <laughs> Front kick, a jab to the heel of the foot that can be done with either leg. Stand with the right foot forward and fists by the face in fighting stance. Shift the weight to the left foot. Bring the right knee up to the chest, foot flexed, heel close to the bum. Keep the fists up and kick straight out from the hip as if you were punching with your heel. Retract immediately and return to fighting stance. A low kick would mean hitting the knee. A mid kick would mean hitting the groin. And a high kick would mean hitting the chest. Quick tip, you can picture slamming a door with a foot. Next, standing side kick. Targets the inner thighs, the glutes, or the bum, the quadriceps, the front of the thighs, and the outer hips. With the feet hip width apart and hands in, in fighting stance. With the feet hip width apart and hands in fighting stance. Slowly lift the left knee, raise it at hip level, keep the heel close to the bump, flex the foot and kick the leg to the side at hip height. Return to fighting stance. Jab, targets the face. It's a type of punch used in martial arts. While in fighting stance, the lead fist is thrown straight ahead and the arm is fully extended. It's an overhand punch and at the moment of impact, the pronated fist is generally held in a horizontal orientation with the palm facing the ground, straight or cross. Punch usually thrown with a dominant hand. The instant an opponent leads with his opposite hand, the blow crosses over the leading arm, hence the name cross. And straight. And hook. Targets the chin, but can also be used for body shots, especially the liver. It's a punch in boxing, performed by turning the core muscles and back, thereby swinging the arm, which is bent at an angle near or at 90 degrees, in a horizontal arc into the opponent. The hook is a powerful punch with knockout power. I'll turn your name is Rainbow Frog. 